All right, one of the most common questions that I get in the Microsoft Lists workshop that I run uh, is, what if I have a list that is a personal list and I want to put that in a SharePoint site or move it to a SharePoint site? Now, unfortunately, unlike some other of the uh, apps in the Microsoft 365 world, for example, Microsoft Forms, if you create a personal form, there is an option to move that form to a group. So it makes that process very simple. We don't have the same capability with personal lists in Microsoft Lists. Uh, and in fact, there is a built-in function when creating a new list from a SharePoint site to select from an existing list, which will duplicate the structure, uh, that not the content, but the structure of a list, which you would think you could use. So just jumping into an example here, I have a list here called punch list items, which are items that I need to complete for different projects I'm working on. And let's say I want to leverage this. I want to create a list like this using the same structure in a SharePoint site that my team is using. So I'm going to go over to that SharePoint site, in this case, then my SharePoint Basics site, and I'll click on New and select List. Uh, and there is an option here to create from an existing list. And it is, again, really important to understand this does not duplicate the content of the list. It simply duplicates the architecture of it. So the, the, the columns, the column settings, and the formatting, etc., but not the contents of the list. Uh, but anyway, when I select, use this select an existing list option, uh, I can see that I can select lists from the current site as well as other sites, uh, whether they're teams or communication sites. Um, but I don't see my lists here. Now this to me is kind of a short sightedness on the part of Microsoft, but I guess they feel like it shouldn't be that easy to create a personal list or uh, copy a personal list duplicate a personal list into a SharePoint site. Um, so you can't do it from here, but there's a very simple workaround, which is to go over to, well, not over to, but back to Microsoft Lists. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna go back to the Lists homepage and I'll select New List. And again, select from an existing list. Now, because we are in the context of the Microsoft Lists app, the first option that's shown here is My Lists. So here I can select that punch list items list and click Next. So now it will tell me that this list already exists in My List. But if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see there is this Save To box or, or drop down. And here I can select a different SharePoint site to save it to. So this basically allows me to duplicate the structure of this punch list items list in my SharePoint Basics site. So I'll simply click Create, and this will this checkbox means it will be shown in the navigation of that site. In fact, there's the list, there's the site name, and if I go over to my SharePoint Basics site, just reload the page. Now there's a lot of stuff in this navigation. So if I go to the Overflow, there is my good old punch list items list. Um, and again, just further reiterating, this does not duplicate the content of the list. So it just copies the structure. But the nice thing is that if you now wanted to move the, you know, or, you know copy the items from this list over to you know, your original list into that new list that you just created in SharePoint uh, or in a SharePoint site, you could use Power Automate to do that. Essentially, you would have a flow that, you know, gets all of the items from the original list and then creates, you know, for each of those, creates a new item in the new list. Uh, it's not something I would generally recommend doing, especially if your list has a lot of items. If your list is fairly small, you know, a few dozen, maybe a hundred items, um, it's certainly feasible to do. Now, can be a little complicated depending on what type of columns you have in there. If they're basically like text and choice columns, maybe some dates should be pretty straightforward. But if you're using something like multi-select people fields, multi-select choice fields, it can get a little more complicated. Bottom line is there are ways to do that if that's what you want. But if it's just a matter of creating another iteration of that same personal list in a SharePoint site using this trick or you know, basically alternate method 
from the Microsoft List app will do the trick for you.